Hello, day five of daily Pilates. Uh, we are going to do foam roller today, but if you don't have a foam roller, you can do the exercises without the foam roller. Let's just start by hugging our knees to the chest, taking a big breath in. And let all the air out. One more time. I'm gonna give you a sample of the exercises we're gonna do on the foam roller. So when we lie down on the foam roller, and you can do this right now actually on the floor, we're gonna move our legs down and up, trying to keep balance. So. This is a great exercise even off the foam roller, but when you're on it, um, it gives you feedback as to whether or not you're stabilizing well. Now let's do two legs down and up, down and up. And you are trying to prevent yourself from arching your back as you lower your legs down. You wanna feel your sacrum or that bone between your two back pockets. Um, Staying stable and flat on the ground. Let's do two more. Two and one. All right, keep your feet down. Let's do a couple of pelvic tilts. Pressing your low back to the ground, scooping your belly in and pointing your tailbone to the ceiling. My low back is kind of making this um, motion that my hands are making. You can put your hands on your stomach to check in and make sure that you are not popping up in your belly, but rather scooping down and in. And four, exhale to press, three, two, and come all the way up. And you're gonna alternate marching your legs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, roll that back down, bring one leg up in the air and make little circles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other way. Your unfortunate pants with my legs up in the air. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Other leg, circle 10, nine. We're trying to keep the rest of the body still while the leg is, um, I was gonna say flailing about, but the leg is making very neat little circles in the air. Circle the other way, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, lie on your side and bring one arm in front of you. Lay your head on your arm and keep your hips stacked as you open your body behind you. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Bring it back to where we started. So it is a little bit of a challenge, at least for me, to keep my hips stacked. And when I go backwards, I want to flop over, but you're going to try to not flop over. And then when you come back, keep your legs anchored to the ground. Try not to lift them up when you come back. Also, let's reach that shoulder blade towards the ground. So it's not just an arm reach, but a whole upper body twist. We're gonna do one more. All right, let's do the other side. All right, this is called book opening. Because you're like, look, that's open. <laughs> um, remember, we're trying to keep legs stacked. Bottom thigh stays on the ground. And we're not reaching just the arm, but the whole upper body. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. One more. 
Okay, so that was a sampling of some of the stuff we're gonna do in the foam roller. You can do that again on the ground like we just did, or you can take a seat at the front end of a 36 inch long foam roller. Head is supported, sacrum is supported. You are in neutral spine, so there's a little space underneath your low back and a little space underneath your neck. And you can feel, because this is harder, your sacrum on the foam roller, your upper back, and the back of your head. We're gonna start in that tabletop position and drop one leg down and bring it up, other leg down and bring it up. If you'd like to just start with this type of marching, that's fine too. You are trying to keep your feet, knee and hips in alignment and you're trying to prevent yourself from rocking side to side. All right, and six, Two and one. Let's do two legs down and up. Ten, nine. This is kind of, um, especially on this like unstable foam roller, it's hard to look to the side. You might fall towards the direction that you look. So hopefully you can just listen in if um, knowing that we're still doing the same thing. Two legs down and up. Three, two, and one, okay, now let's bring one leg up and the opposite arm up. All right, and five, four, three, again, we're not, we're trying to keep the foam roller in place. So if you find it rolling side to side, then go slower and try to stabilize it or keep both arms on the ground. All right, if that was easy for you, now we're gonna do two arms up and we're gonna float one leg up and bring it down and other leg up and bring it down. And you can vary the speed of how, um, how quickly you wanna do this motion because sometimes if you go faster, it's almost easier. You're not giving yourself time to find that balance. So find the speed that works best for you so that you can stay on the foam roller and still feel like you're stabilizing from your center. Again, we're trying to keep the foam roller still, which is a challenge. Let's do about four more. I think it's four depending on how fast you're going. All right, next exercise. Bring one leg up in the air, two hands down, and circle 10, nine, eight, seven. You can do no hands if that's feeling easy for you. Four, three, two, other way, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, and circle 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other way, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, check out the weight on your hands and notice if they're even, I find myself drifting over to one side more than the other. All right, now you're gonna lie on your side. Um, actually, sorry, you're gonna put your feet on the foam roller. You are gonna do those pelvic tilts. So with your feet elevated, you might be able to feel like your pelvic tilts are even more kind of luscious and stretchy because your legs are elevated. You have a little bit more room to move your pelvis and press your low back on the ground. All right, after a couple pelvic tilts, we're gonna start with that pelvic tilt and then lift our hips up. You should feel the back of your legs working. Let's try to relax the arms and head. Take a breath into the top. Exhale, roll it down. And then roll it back up. And come on down. Let's do eight more, eight, seven, six. Again, you can be doing this with your feet on the ground or if you want, with your feet on like a wall in front of you or on the couch. Three and two. And one for a little challenge. Let's march our legs for 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, <laughs> struggling to smile, and one. Come on down. Roll the foam roller towards your hips. Lift up your hips and place the foam roller underneath your, um, your pelvis. Not on your low back, but on, the, on your sacrum, that bone between your two back pockets. Bring your legs up and drop one down and bring it up. Your foot doesn't have to touch the ground, but your goal is to bring your leg down without arching your back, without increasing the arch of your back. And five, four, three, two, and one. Two legs up. You can do this without the foam roller, right? Lower your legs down. Turn your feet out, pressing your heels together. You're gonna bend and exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Or you can put a pillow underneath your low back if you don't have a foam roller. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your legs, roll to one side. You'll get a little bit of a um, glute uh, massage. You're, it's a little bit easier if you hold on to the ends of the foam roller so it doesn't roll, roll around. Am I still recording? Yes. We're getting that kind of book opening twist situation happening. Let's do two more. One and two. All right, now we're gonna do the book opening. And um, <laughs> I hesitated on that earlier because it's a little bit, can be quite um, intense. The feeling of the foam roller at the side of your, um, kind of like outside edge of your underarm. Your legs are bent, hands behind you. You're gonna reach forward with your elbow and open up, twisting your spine and also getting a shoulder massage or outside edge, bottom side of your shoulder massage. And let's do two more. So we only have a few more minutes and I still haven't done my favorite exercise. All right. Other side. And roll forward, rounding the back, reaching that elbow back. Three more. Three. If you find yourself holding your breath, <laughs> try to let it go. Last one. All right, now for my favorite exercise. You're going to sit with the foam roller at your, um, like at the bottom edge of your shoulder blades, cradle your head in your hands, lift up your hips, and roll um, your upper back back and forth. My shirt's getting caught. If you have hair, long hair, you're gonna wanna hold your hair up. If you have a shirt that's flopping down, you're gonna wanna hold that or tuck it in. Oh, I love this, especially at the end of a day, trying to um, kind of reverse that hunchy forward feeling that I get from work when I'm leaning forward, working on patients. All right, now keep the sh um, foam roller at the shoulder blade level, or like right at the bottom of your shoulder blade. Drop your hips down, cradle your head in your hands, extend back, and curl up. You are kind of sliding your ribs, fanning them open backwards, and then to come up, you're reaching your ribs towards your pelvis. Let's do six more, six, and five, four, Three, two, and one. Huh, that 
brings us to 15 minutes. That went by too quickly. There's so many more fun exercises to do on the foam roller, which we'll do in the following weeks. Have a great weekend. Thank you for joining me this week. Um, see you on Monday.